welcome back to my channel where we're all about leveling up, elevating, and living our absolute best lives. So I really wanted to do this video because a lot of you were asking about the um, process of doing your national ID. It is a little bit different in COVID, so I will put this disclaimer just in case COVID leaves us in a year and you guys are still watching this video. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So first step that I had to do was actually make an appointment. Um, so there are no longer multiple locations in Kampala to do your national ID. You can only do it at the airship right now. I think they wanted to control numbers because of COVID, which makes total sense given that it is a giant stadium and a bunch of bleachers and every other seat is accounted for somebody. Uh, so there's spacing, social distancing, and all of that fun stuff. The first thing I did was go on the NERA website, so national ID registration. Authority, <laughs> and I went and booked an appointment. So when I booked an appointment, I didn't realize it takes like a month and a half to get to your appointment date, but I guess they're so busy and they want to reduce the numbers. Um, I found this extremely impressive in comparison to, for example, internal affairs, where it's just a slew of people all over the place. They do have appointments too, it's just people like don't seem to follow and whatever. Anyway, it was su super organized. Um, so when my appointment day arrived, I had to, you have to give them the number, queue in line or something, I don't know. Anyway, I gave them that, but I arrived super early because me, when it comes to government offices, I want to be first in, first out, <laughs> FIFO. <laughs> so it was for, that's for my accounting people. Um, anyway, I sat exactly in line, I was like, oh, I was first here, I'm first to get seen. Thank you very much. So um, you go at the very top of the bleachers and you just sit. Um, from or sorry, you go and get registered. There's a lady at the at the main desk. Like I said, they're bleachers, so it's like the top of bleachers. It's not real offices organized, uh, but because of COVID. So I went to the very top. I got this form that I had to fill up everything. So while I was sitting to wait the extra 30 minutes or so uh, for them to properly open, I filled all of that out. Now. Me coming to do this, I did not take in the fact that I needed to know every little detail of like what, where my family is from, like my mom and my dad's side and everything. Like they're so strict about that, which makes a lot of sense. It's like, like they need to know where everyone's from, where they're, where they're, I don't know, where you're from, where you're born, all that fun stuff. So my, I had to know my dad's district, parish, sub county, county, like all of that information. If you're indigenous, you got it. I'm not sure for um, a non-Ugandan, I'm sure they'll give you a different form and you fill that out. So being an indigenous Ugandan, I have to do that for my mom, my mom, my dad, I think even my grandpa even, something like crazy like that. Anyway, um, then you need an LC letter and um, a DOC letter or something like that. I'll leave that info below. Uh, so I should have come with that prior to. I remember talking to my mom about it the night before, but I was like, they didn't say anything on the website, so I just ran with that. I didn't think about that. So if I were you, please, before you go for your appointment, go talk to your LC, and they'll tell you all the information that you need. You need your LC anyways to sign off on a form, so you need to find them. Find your, so that's your local council in the area that you live. Uh, they just pretty much are just gonna say that like, you're who you are, <laughs> who you claim to be. So your LC, and then, the other letter, I forget what it was called, but it was a DC or something like that. So I had to go to another place. So my else, I had to go to Nuguru somewhere, in a crevice somewhere. I just took my Boda guy with me. I was like, listen, I want to do all this today because I had made a mistake. Even though it was like 10 a.m., by the time I got all these letters and people found the people who I'm supposed to find and sign off because LCs don't sit in their offices apparently. Um, it was still like closing, so I had to go back the next day anyway. Um, <laughs> so once you have all of that prepared, you have the LC letter signed, I gave them, I think it was like, I had to get a different LC, so she helped me out, I gave her like 15 k or something like that. The DC letter I think was free, um, and then I went to back the next day, first in line of course, and gave in my paper. Then they call you on, or sorry, no, that particular day, I'm pretty sure once all that was done, I got to take my photos. So I went and took my, they went and put on all the information, which is so crazy. I'm like, why did I fill out a form if you're gonna ask me all of this? Like, why did you just do it online? And then we could save some time. A little feedback. Um, so once all that was done, I took my picture, which I was so annoyed about because I did my hair, and then they're like, we need to see your ears. So I would have done a different hairstyle. Anyway, um, I had to pull everything back, take a photo, and then he was like, come, come back in a month. To get or within a month like within three weeks two and a half to three weeks you should get a feedback but then we went into lockdown so i didn't actually get my id until the week we got out of lockdown because by then it was ready and prepared so sat there waiting uh, i believe you're able to 
uh, like text a code I'll leave it here it's like star one nine six or something like that hash and it'll tell you the status mine kept saying approved but then it when I was asking him where it was he was like oh it's not in the office yet so eventually when we got out of COVID I feel like maybe it was a glitch not COVID when we got out of the, the second lockdown um, that was when I was able to get a full proper status but it still wasn't through that star one nine whatever hash thing so keep that in mind um, so from there um, I was like, great, let me go pick up my ID. Drove to the airstrip, I got there, and the Ascari's. Also, wherever you go ever, I would say if an Ascari tells you something, get feedback again from someone else because they don't always know the latest updates. But this one did. So he was like, no, you have to go pick up your um, IDs in uh, Nakasera. I was like, why? I, no one told me that, and had I known that, why would I waste my day like here? So once there, turns out, and by, by the time I got there, because it was jam and everything, it was like midday or something, they were like, you need to come at 7 a.m. because we only see 150 people a day. So I get, so I was like, Wah. left, came back another day when I had time to come in the morning, got there at 7, there was already a giant queue of people, a slew of people, it was disgusting, the gate was just jam-packed of people. I was just like, if COVID exists it's in this frickin' slew of people, like what the hell is this? It was so disorganized. And it's that usual archaic way of being like, write your name on this paper, the first 150 people will be the ones to be seen. I'm like, first of all, you're touching pens, everyone's breathing up on each other, you're passing papers, everyone's touching. I was just there spraying, spraying, and I was like, oh god. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I signed the assigned in and whatever, I was great, good to go. The Ascari lost the list of people. So we stood outside in front of a gate for, I'm not joking, two hours. I'm literally not joking. Like there were women with babies. I was like, I feel so bad for you. Like, what are you, like, what is this? This is just disgusting. Eventually they let us in. It was like a home setup, like one of those, like where you have a home and you turn it into an office space. So they had white chairs for us to sit. And oh, by, sorry, I forgot to mention, by the time I even got here, it was like everyone was shoving each other to get in. I was like, I will never do this again in my life. I'm not joking. If someone says they have a guy to help you, take that and run with it. Don't ever, like, please, please. <laughs> Ugh, anyway, so I finally get in, sign another paper, or to get into another line to see, sign yet yeah, another paper to sign in. I was like, I don't understand why none of this in any of the ministries is automated. Like, put it, people should be doing all this on their phone before they arrive. It's COVID. I don't understand. But anyway, none of my business. So, get in this line. I sit on a chair. Guys, I'm not joking. This is like 9 a.m. I was like, oh, great. I have the rest of my day. I'll be in and out of here quick because they shot my stuff. I waited for like two and a half hours sitting in the sun. Eventually, I hear my name. Mind you, it's a big ass house. So, on one side is people seated to wait for their IDs in the front and on the other side and near the back where parking was. So I was near the back where parking was. And I was like, Rachel, sometimes you're a bit too Canadian for people and you harass people. Perhaps just leave them alone, you'll get what you need. Never do that again. Follow my instinct. God made me this way for a reason. <laughs> anyway, God calls my name, I come. The lady who had my thing was so rude, but whatever, who cares? I was like, great, I have my ID. She's like, I've been calling you for two hours. I'm like, how do you expect anybody to hear you? A man just sitting there with a the paper be like, Rachel, Nalumu. Like, I could be on the other corner, I could be on another corner, I could be, like, make it make sense. I was so freaking irritated, but I took my card. She's like, stand there, took a picture of me, it was really rude. She's like, go sign that book. I got another book to sign, because we're always signing books. <laughs> like, we're freaking famous in this country. Um, and on our way out, there's this guy who's like, could you give us feedback? Oh, Jesus. I went in. I was like, I clearly have time because all my appointments are canceled. So I was just explaining like the whole process, how it makes absolutely no sense. And that if there was COVID, you're going to get it here. If you didn't have COVID, you would get it here. So irritated. But anyway, point being is it's a long, it's not as bad of a process as other things that I've gone through, as you guys probably know from watching my videos. Um, but I eventually got my ID. Life is good. Now, last little note, which I want to mention is Highly, highly recommend. Um, all my friends were like, laminate your ID, leave that thing in a safe or at home, whatever, and um, just walk around with the laminated one so that you never have to go through that process again. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. National ID process is free. Uh, that's another thing that they ask. I guess they're trying to like get rid of people who are like, trying to profit off of others. 
uh, by paying for a card, you do not have to pay for your national ID card. Minus like maybe the LC letter, for, like that was like out of kindness because she was at my LC and uh, she was helping me out that particular day. I wanted to get everything done. Um, but other than that, it was pretty straightforward. I heard way more horror stories from the beginning part and my beginning part was smooth sailing. So I was like, I walked in, walked out. They were super nice to me. Mind you, like everywhere I always find like maybe one or two rude ladies. But other than that, like, like everyone was super nice super helpful and um it was pretty straightforward so all in all i pretty much i believe i got my id within a month and a half but because we were in lockdown so technically actually no from when i had applied which was april i got it by may april may june july okay three months later but because there was a lockdown as well um other than that it's pretty much a waiting game but it's necessary to have i'm glad that's out of the way Hope this video was super helpful for you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the description box below. Um, I can only speak from the point of being an indigenous Ugandan. Um, if you're not um, uh, Ugandan by blood, but you need a national ID, I think you, the only difference would be the paper that you fill out would be different. It wouldn't be asking you about like your ancestry <laughs> and whatever. Uh, but it is hell of a detailed form, so go with all of your information. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, please remember to level up, elevate, live your best lives. Subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.